from High Tech Legion. We're over at Rocket at CES, and we have Catherine here who's going to give us a brief overview of, of uh, all the things they have to offer. Hi, Catherine. Hello. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, I would like to introduce our latest mouse suit. It's called the Rocket Chrome Plus uh -huh. Max Customization Gaming Mouse. It will be introduced uh, in the US by the end of February, early March. It's a high-end gaming mouse with a 6,000 TPI laser sensor inside. And of course, you've got the possibility to switch between DPI settings here, you can see that, and um, also you can change it in 100 DPI steps. And here you can see that this mouse has got a lot of functions to offer. We do have 12 buttons on it directly. So all these buttons, and we do also have a 4D wheel, which you can also program freely. Very nice. Um, when you look at the driver, well, I didn't say that, but this is of course it's the driver for this mouse. Mm -hmm. um, there are 24 different functions you can configure. So how come this mouse has got only 12 buttons? Well, we thought it would be clever to have something like the shift function from the keyboard mm -hmm. being transferred to the mouse. So by saying that one of the side buttons is the, and this technology is called Easy Shift. Mm -hmm. So when you have one side button here with the Easy Shift function located, it happens that as soon as you press this button, you do have a second level on the mouse. So when I press this, it lights up blue. So it says that you're in the Easy, easy Shift level. Oh. And when you turn, for example, now the spall wheel, you can adjust the volume, for example. Oh, very nice. So when you release it, you're back to normal, and then it's like the normal scrolling function. In this way, we have perfectly located buttons, but still a lot of, a lot of functions for the gamer to access directly. Of course, you are able to program macros, but also, we offer already configured ones. We call that presets. Mm -hmm. So, and we've done that for up to 20 blockbuster games here. Wow. So it's very easy. You just, if you play Dragon Age, for example, you just choose move forward, and then you can see, okay, here's move forward on this button here. If you want to do your own ones, you can do that in the macro manager. And also, it's also possible to edit the ones which has already been done, been done by us. Uh -huh. Or also, your own ones can be edited afterwards. Uh -huh. Very nice. And it's also possible to record delays between key commands. So you just have to click this button here, and then you can you can do that. Okay. Um, if you look at the mouse, you can see that it's colored. So you have got a multicolor system inside. In the driver, it looks like that. So we do have four different multicolor LEDs located in the mouse. They coincide, <laughs> right? Huh? They coincide. With the, yeah, oh, yeah. So you can you can choose the color. Oh, you, oh, that's nice. So I, I you see. can say that like this. It should be red. This should be pink, and say this should be green. And I just have to say apply. Oh. And you see that it's changing. I see. But you don't only have color, you also have like light effects. So I can say that should be blinking, I want to have the heartbeat effect, I don't want, I want fully lighted, so no, ex no, no effects. And I can also say you should cycle, so to change the color constantly. Uh -huh. And then I also can adjust the effect speed on this. And for everyone who doesn't like lights, we also offer the uh, possibility to turn the lights off. Lights off. off. Okay. And then we go into advanced control. Well, actually, this mouse can really talk to you. So we do have a few functions, 
like the profiles which DPI change, volume up and down, and sensitivity change, will, will be signaled by a sound feedback. This sounds like this. For example, now I'm in easy shift and I turn the, the spore wheel and in this way I change the volume and at the same time I get this voice telling me what I'm doing. This is especially helpful with DPI change, then it tells me exactly what kind of DPI settings I have. Makes it very easy. So, for example here now I've got DPI switch. So it tells you what to do. And you can also set the volume differently from your normal Windows volume control. What's really cool with this mouse as well is that you can adjust the sensor to the surface you are using. So normally you have got, well, we do have a high-end 6000 DPI sensor inside. But of course, um, how do you say that? Um, it works on every surface, of course, but to really get the optimum performance, you have to adjust it to the surface you are using. Exactly. Because laser sensors, they work differently on, on different very stuff. reflective mouse pads, exactly. or if on black mouse pads, or colored mouse pads, so it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And to really get the best performance, you can calibrate this mouse to the mouse pad. So it works like this, we call it tracking control unit. You say start calibration, braking, then the sensor analyzes the surface and adjusts the sensor to it. So you see the pictures, these are taken from the ground basically. You say continue, exact changes, and then you have got a, the best performance you can have from this the mouse. surface you're on. Yeah. And another thing is the distance control unit. People who are playing with very low sensitivity, they are doing like this and they are lifting off the mouse from the ground and putting it down again. Mm -hmm. So what you don't want is that this, the cursor is still moving although the mouse is not on the mouse pad anymore. <laughs> so that makes your gaming very unprecise. You know, and this is what you don't want. Right. So we give you the opportunity to say, I want extra low lift off distance. And you know, and now as soon as I lift off the mouse now, which is related to the um, to the surface a little bit, but it's about 0.6 millimeters now or something. So it's really when you lift it off and just a little bit, it stops working. Uh huh. So that's a big difference. Very nice feature. Yeah. And um, well, we integrated Windows Pointer Speed into our driver because we think that everything what's related to mouse control should be in one place. So this is what your normal settings will give you as well. But it's just Got it. parallel here. Yeah. Falling rate, of course, is 1000 Hz. But if you, for example, you're working on a notebook and you want to save energy, mm -hmm. you can also say, I want to have only 220 Hz. So then it's up to you. The big thing also is that all your button assignments, DPI settings, and also color control can be stored in one profile. So you can have up to four, five profiles directly stored on the mouse. Five different profiles. So I might like, for different games, I might want different, pro I would naturally probably want different profiles for different yeah. games yeah. With, to help me yeah. do, do a better job at each each game because yeah. some required, yeah, exactly. I That's beautiful. Okay. And What's very nice is that you, when you create a profile, you can connect it to the executables. So the profile launches automatically when you start the game. And uh, the very nice one is that we have a Windows profile here. So one profile can be set as a Windows profile. You just have to tick this box here. So when you're done gaming, just go back to Windows profile. Yeah, so you don't have to go to the driver or just, you know, click yeah. a button or something. Right. It does everything automatically. Wow. Even when you don't, when you don't um, stop the game, just tap out of the game, it still 
goes back to your Windows profile. And you can see here those little colored dots. They show you the color scheme which is connected to the profile. Okay. And of course you can save more profiles on your hard drive or you know load profiles from that and stuff like that. So that's all possible too. Yeah, that's basically it. Of course we do have an update and support section. So okay. you can of course always download the latest driver and when you're on the internet then we tell you that the non new driver is available and then you can decide if you want to download it or not. So yeah, basically. So it's fully it's fully supported, that's a good thing. Yeah. So basically yeah, that's our motto. We give you a lot of possibilities to to really adjust the product or the performance to your own needs and not, you know, have everything taken for granted and Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So. Huh. Well, this is the Isco Illuminated Gaming Keyboard. Mm -hmm. oh, well, as you can see, it offers a big wrist rest. So we give you extra comfort during long hours of gaming. And as you can see, there's offer, like we offer a standard key layout. And in addition to that, we have eight extra keys, which are freely programmable. So, and this is the second keyboard we offer, which gives you thumbster keys, what we call. So, these keys are located beneath the spacebar because we think that you can do more with your thumb than only pressing the spacebar and jump. So, you can have, you can launch programs with it, but you can also put macros on them or set different things on them. That's true. And um, it is, it's illuminated as you can see, but you can change the illumination in six steps. And of course, also turn it off if you don't want it during the night, for example. Uh -huh. And here we do have media keys, so you can control your media player. But they also can be assigned with shortcuts, or you can launch programs with it mm -hmm. to open up your internet search or something like that. I can show you later in the driver. Okay. okay. And of course, you're also able to create profiles with this. So therefore, we do have these little LEDs here, which show you in which profile you are in. And of course, we do have more possibilities to access uh, macros than only with this eight buttons here. So how do we do that? Again, we have this easy shift function integrated into this keyboard. That means that you can have two functions on one key just by pressing the easy shift. Okay. So we put the easy shift key on the caps lock button because we think that caps lock is hardly used in gaming. So that's why we have chosen caps lock. Small move. Yeah. So actually, we now have eight buttons which can be programmed with macros. And using the easy shift button, which is here, you can also have macros directly located around your WASD zone. So I think this is like the perfect solution for macros because then you don't have to move your hand right. and go over and press a button here or here. Easier. So yeah, you can just leave your hand where it is and really instantly um, get hold of your macro keys. So, this is it. And here, of course, we do have extra keys which can also be programmed. So you can do your window settings, of course, or window control. But you can also say, I want to open my email account or my computer wow. and stuff like that. And here, you can even assign shortcuts, which is really easy. You just click here, for example, control and say, okay, in my office profile, I want to have the print function, for example. And then you can see here that it shows you, okay, this is the shortcut control and P for print. 
Um, here you can choose what kind of media player you're using, so you're not limited to media, Windows Media Player, but you can say, okay, I want to have my PLC Media Player, and then all those controls work with the right, with the right media player. Um, so advanced control is here. So of course you can disable keys. So during gaming it's really annoying when you accidentally hit the Windows key for example. So mm -hmm. we can say okay, we disable these keys. Just by ticking on these boxes, you can en enable or disable keys. For the illumination, you can not only change this by pressing this button on the keyboard, but also in the driver. You, so you can see here, I can adjust the brightness right. level here. And another handy thing is that we do have a dimmer or timeout function. Uh -huh. So you can say, okay, I haven't hit any key for 15 minutes. The light should shut down. So and here Excellent. you can say, okay, I want no illumination after 15 minutes, or I want just 40 percent. Then this can be decided in the driver. Well, sound feedback is something here which we have integrated as well. Maybe you're already familiar with it in, from the Chrome Plus. Um, it tells you that when you switch profiles. But what's really nice is that you're able to do macro recording in game that means that you don't have to enter the driver and the sound feedback guides you through the process so i can show you to you it's like this record button here on the on the keyboard uh -huh. you just have to press this tells me what to do. I say, okay, I want something on M4. Then I do my macro and say, and press the record button again. And this is it. So I don't have to go out of the game and maybe forget what I wanted to do and then enter the driver. I can just easily do it during the game. So, and of course, if you know how to do it, you can say, I don't need any guidance anymore, so I can switch off the macro life recording sound feedback. I have it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's um, great. <laughs> and of course, here you can see we do have five profile slots, slots um, so you can store five profiles on the keyboard yeah so it's the same thing when you create a profile you can also connect three executables to one profile for example when you're playing several games from the same genre most of the time you have got the same commands for these for example if you play counter strike and then counter strike source or something like that. and then you have the same command so you can store them in one profile Okay. And of course, we do have update support as well. Very and exciting. What's a nice thing is that when you have both products, Chrome Plus and Isco, you can um, install the Rocket Talk protocol, and then these people can talk to each other. Yeah. So that means that. We have been talking about easy shift functions, mm -hmm. so you have easy shift on the key on the mouse as well, and you can can take the easy shift button from the mouse and say I want to put it on the keyboard. Uh -huh. So as soon as you press this on the keyboard, you can start the um, you can get the mouse into easy shift level. Um, so, for example, I can say easy shift all devices. So now, when I say that, my mouse turns blue, and that's indicating that it's an easy shift level. So as soon as I reset, it goes back to the normal. So. This means, for example, here I press this and I scroll and I change volumes again, for example. I release it and then it's like normal scrolling. 
Um, what's also a nice thing is that we do have the possibility to uh, easy aim oh. functions, for example. So easy aim is something when you, for example, playing FPS games and you are in sniper mode. Right. And you're playing, well, normally you're playing on a normal DPI settings like 1600 DPI, for example. Uh -huh. But then you're in sniper mode and you really want to be very precise and you want to have really precise movements and you want to have lower DPI settings. So then we do have easy aim. As soon as you press the easy aim button, you are down to, say, 400 DPI. Right. Of course, you can decide yourself what kind of DPI setting you want to go to. But this is something. And with Rocket Talk, you are able to take this button from the mouse and put it on the keyboard as well. That's so great. So here it is, I think, M2. So as soon as I press M2, it's very low sensitivity and I release M2. Oh. Okay, so now it's 1700 DPI. That's when I press it, uh -huh. it goes down. So you can choose it yourself, maybe, or try it yourself, but it's. You can see here I move my mouse just a little bit and the cursor is moving quite fast on oh, the screen. Oh, really? I know. <laughs> and when I do it now, it's like, oops, very, very slow. Yeah. And this is perfect for really aiming. Right. And it really gives you an advantage here. You can have this on the mouse as well separately, even if you don't want to have both products. But of course, it's maybe a little bit more comfortable to press a key on the keyboard than, you know, keeping this button pressed on the mouse. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, great. That's something yeah, yeah. we offer. I love it. Thank you. It gives you a little bit like a bonus set, yeah. set bonus when you have both products together. Yeah, awesome. So that's that's our two focus products we are going to launch by the end of February. Oh. Again, thank you very much yeah. for the opportunity. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank and uh, we look forward to it. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Okay.